Welcome back to the Super Spirits Brothers. Um, we're playing a little bit of um, Nancy Drew Mysteries. Yeah. As um, you can see, I'm Nancy. Um, uh, that's Drew. Oh, we just passed Drew. Hey, you know what my favorite thing about Drew Carey is? Uh, the fact that he was in the military? No, the fact that he's dead. He's not dead. Whoa! Whoa! What? That was too good to be true. Ah! <laughs> Can we run that back? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Don't go down a pipe. When has going down a pipe ever been a good idea in this game? Never. Exactly. Hi, I haven't looked at you guys. You're just so beautiful. I can't really look at you directly. It's easier to do that when you're small. Yeah. But, guys, I just can't stop looking at you. Hey, yeah, you. You with the legs. You keep those legs going. You keep with those legs going, because I'm not into wheelchair people. No, th they're not even real people. They're cyborgs. <laughs> cyborgs. We are the Cybermen because we have wheelchairs. <laughs> we are disabled. What? They are disabled because I turned them off. No. Oh. Because they're in wheelchairs and they're ugly. Hey, baby. And by that I mean a woman who's made out of hay and is a child, a very young. Hey, I'm a pedophile for people made of straw. I love scarecrows that are four feet high. <laughs> oh, you four foot high scarecrow. <laughs> I want to make love to you and all the crows you fight and scare away. This has been Strange Jokes <laughs> with Captain Oblivion. Um, I've lost track of where this one was going. <laughs> but, um, hey baby. I noticed you uh, have a nice set of legs there. In that, what? What? The duel up and then you can time out if it's a bad thing. I'm just curious where this could possibly take you. It's a bonus. It's a bonus. I was just trying to get the mushroom. So does that mean there's a mushroom right beside? Yeah, that's a really highly compact little area. It's really strange little airspace. That's like almost like what would be in Mario 1. Except there wouldn't be that many secret things all. That's just strange. Yeah, that's and not really like Mario. They're just like, here's a secret in this little area. Okay. That bonus thing threw me off right away. Yeah, no, me too. I got scared. <laughs> I got scared. Maybe it's just the Luigi face. Did it take you nowhere? It took me nowhere. It took you one step. It took me one step. But I got a bunch of coins, so I won't get an extra life later. That's okay. He'll just stop running. He'll stop. He'll stop. Hammer, 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 hammer. Hey, I have suddenly turned into Blue Man Group. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sad enough to be the Blue Man Group, though, Blake? Um, oh wow, I thought I'd make that actually. I know you've got a nice set of legs there, lady. In that box. Why don't you take them out of that box and strap them on? Woman from that particular TED talk who talked about strap on legs. I love women who will strap on. Well, that's the end of our show. <laughs> <laughs> we suddenly went from our G rating into the. G rating? <laughs> We're like, gee, those guys swear a lot. Hi, kids. Welcome to our adventure. Fuck! <laughs> welcome to our. Welcome Shit, cunt! <laughs> Could you have. Lava blowing on my ass! You know, one of my goals is to create a uh, a, a, a porn, like a porn show, but it's, but it's G rated. Yeah. So, like, you just cut out all the stuff that's, like, not G rated out of it, and you sort of very carefully edit it. Mm -hmm. So it's just. So it's not, like, PG rated, but, like, just G rated. Yeah. But it's still, like, really erotically charged. Well. Like a really hot battery. Well, if, if something's just erotically charged, um, you know, highly erotically charged and G-rated, I guess... Don't you... jump that high. You do a little tap. You know, or, a little tap. or jump on a cliff. I'm aiming... I'm trying to do a different angle. Okay. Uh, the big comfy couch. Oh, lunette. Um, <laughs> what? You're not into lunette porn? And you don't like glasses? It's a French joke. <laughs> Lunette and Molly, a <laughs> clown and her dolly on the big comfy couch. Boo boo! Here's my question. You know that song? You know that song? Lovely Rita Meter Maid. Yeah. Does he? He says he nearly made it with a sister or two, and I'm not sure if what he means by that. I always thought he meant like either my when I was a kid. I always thought it meant like he was trying to make up with like twins or something like that. Well, that's what I thought too. Or but... making up with a black chick. <laughs> sister or two. Sisters doing it for themselves. Yeah. Well, that's not that he was trying to get with a couple of black chicks, and he was calling them sisters, because he's hip. 
Yeah, but but uh, it's a lovely Rita meter maid, and meter maids are never black in England. No, no. So this is like he's talking about another love conquest that he failed. Okay. There, there, that's what I'm doing. Could have got the coins, Blake. They would have been useful. Look, they would have dropped you off right here, Blake. You could have skipped that whole arduous process. <laughs> skip that one, that one piranha plant. Yeah. To be fair, if there were piranha plants in, in real life, I'd be really happy to skip any number of them. That's true. Uh, but you're saying something about Rita. That's all. Okay. What I always wondered is, um, is in the story, is he just trying to date her to get out of a ticket? That was my always understanding of the song. But then listen to it as an adult. That, I, think I don't think, I think he just liked her. There too? Ooh. There's poison. I, I, you should just jump at every square. This is Kazio. This has become Kazio. I remember when I watched you play this, and you just beat this level with like no difficulty. I know. You know why? Because in the in the original one, the one that I played, which is I bought from, I didn't buy the original. I got it from um, the the uh, Wii U store. The Wii the Wii store, really, or whatever it is. Oh yeah, the um, virtual but, console. Virtual console. That's where I got it from. Um, it, it I keep fucking that it, up. It has the semi-original of this one. Not, not this remake, and you have to start over from the beginning of the world every time you run out of lives. Mm -hmm. And this level's so hard, and the level after it's so hard. The, the level after this isn't... I don't remember it being that hard. It's hard, but it's mostly just the maze is ridiculous. Yeah. Um, but it, and it but, should be easy on this but, it, but this world is so hard that I did this level, I don't know how many hundreds of times, so it became easy after a while. Should I go for it? Nah. But get the, get the mushroom. Is it right next to it? I it's, think it's, it's right on the other... Oop. It was very, like... Or like one block over. Yeah. I was gonna go for it, but then I skated. Um, we've gotten to the last area without you without you knowing yet how to get extra lives at the um, post. Well, you told me. I just keep forgetting. I'm not sure if I should, told you. No, yeah, you told me. Oh, okay. I just don't care because lives are meaningless. The, in, see, that's the great thing about Mario welcome Games. to nihilist let's place. Not nihilist. 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 No, no, the nihilist is what. Uh, uh, oh, who was it? I can't remember Nemo drove. It's the Nautilus. No, it's the Nihilus. Because he didn't care about anything. It was that's why he was on a boat, because he didn't have a family to care about. Hence, that's why Nietzsche named his philosophy after that. You know, the Nihilism didn't actually Woo! come from Nihilists. It was actually something that um, was made up, I think, to make fun of them in a Russian novel. That makes sense. Almost every category thing that stuck with people is because someone was trying to think of something to make fun of them. Like, it's a, and usually in a Russian novel. Usually in a Russian novel. It's like Noob. Noob came out of. Um, I think it was Nabokov. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, I know Nabokov. <laughs> That's where it came from. Because he was always after them young boys. <laughs> Except that he wasn't, and his character wasn't he though. It reminds me of that song. There's that. There's that song that was popular in like the 50s or whatever, which is "Thank Heaven for Little Girls." Yeah. Which surprisingly, like nobody goes back and go. That was kind of a pedophilia. Pedoph a, a song for pedophiles. To be fair, a, another a, a, his song was "Man, I like being in small children." So I don't know. <laughs> uh, the Beatles had so a tiny then the Beatles had a rocky early career. They wrote a song about it when they were all raccoons. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> <this shot>. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! I did it. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was warning you, but I realized I wasn't actually conveying that. Just shouting stop isn't enough. I was too scared! <laughs> I was too scared and saying no was not enough. So speaking of Nabokov's fe child fetish... He didn't have a child but The whole point of the book is that the, he realized he was abusing the girl. That's the whole point of the book. Yeah, There's nobody gets that far because they get skeezed out by the 30 chapters of talking about how hot she is. God, that girl's hot. She's really hot. You know what? It's wrong, though. It's like she's a curry. <laughs> Tim Curry? No, yes. he's hot. Oh, yeah. Did you see him in uh, Fern Gully? No, because he only did voice work for it, you dumbass. You people are stupid. I'm not making jokes. I'm just making really <laughs> insane <laughs> combinations of sentences. I'm not making jokes. You could be literally, like, almost every comedian, you could probably fit into that bubble somehow. <laughs> probably. But it's like he didn't um, make any jokes. Not um, okay. Rodney Dangerfield. He Ma told jokes. Rodney Dangerfield told jokes, yeah. Oh, what's that other comedian who just tells jokes and it's weird because he's just telling jokes? Oh, I, I was, I, that's exactly what I wanted to do, but I wanted to go just a little bit higher than that. You just want to get hit by a hammer, but you want to do it slightly better? That's right. Okay. 
That's fair, I mean. Bang bang, Naxwell Sil- Naxwell? Naxwell Silver Blammo. He got his new grounds count suspended. <laughs> that was a nice little point. Oh, okay, jump between this darn. I'm gonna jump. Watch out for the mushroom. Watch out for the mushroom sounds like, like an anti-drug thing. Speaking of anti-drug things, next time on Super Spears Brothers, we'll do more.